Today our problem is find the current flowing through the each resistor by using superposition theorem. Find the current flowing through the each resistor using superposition theorem means find the current flowing through the 1 ohms, 2 ohms, 8 ohms by using superposition theorem. So in order to find out the current flowing through the each resistor by using superposition theorem we are following the steps step 1 is here we are having the two sources 10 volts voltage source 2 amperes current source first consider any source either 10 volts or 2 amperes here first step 1 I am considering I am selecting 10 volts and 2 amperes is off half means here 2 amperes is current source current source internal resistance value infinity so r tends to infinity means open so here i am selecting 10 volts as it is and 2 amperes is half half means open circuit so now first step one our circuit is like this so current flowing through the 8 amperes is here the current branch is open circuit so current flowing through the 8 amperes sorry 8 ohms with respect to 10 volts is 0 why because here the branch is open so current flowing through the 8 amperes with respect to 10 volts is 0 and current direction from left to right next our circuit is 10 consists of 10 ohms 1 ohms 2 ohms why because here the current flowing through the 8 ohms is 0 so we can also neglect by neglect for this branch so now current flowing through the 1 ohms and 2 ohms is same for this circuit so by using simple ohms law that is V by R1 plus R2 the current flowing through this loop is 10 by 1 plus 2. So that loop current is nothing but current flowing through the 1 ohms and current flowing through the 2 ohms. So current flowing through the 1 ohms and 2 ohms with respect to 10 ohms is 10 by 3 and current flowing through the 2 ohms is again same current that is 10 by 3 again we are we can as you we can specify the current direction also here the current flowing through with respect to the source is from left to right the current flowing through the 2 ohms is from downwards up to down next this is all about first step again for the main circuit again we are applying the step 2 that is select the 2 amperes and 10 volts is off this is the circuit for step 2 that is in the main circuit we are selecting 2 amperes source and 10 volts is off off means here the 10 volts is voltage source so we have to short circuit this branch so and again for step 2 we are selecting 2 amperes and find the current flowing through the each resistor with respect to this source so now first step 2 our circuit is like this first the current flowing through this 8 ohms is same current here the nodes are simple nodes so same current 2 amperes is flowing through the 8 ohms so current flowing through the 8 ohms with respect to 2 amperes source is 2 amperes only again the current direction from for 8 ohm resistor is from right to left so the same current 2 amperes is enters at this node here at this node the current is divided for these two parallel branches so again using current division rule we can find out current flowing through the each resistor current flowing through the two ohms with respect to 
टू एम्पियर्स इज टोटल करंट एंटरिंग एट दिस नोड इज टू एम्पियर्स इन टू आपोजिट ब्रांच रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू वन ओम्स बाई आपोजिट ब्रांच रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू प्लस दट रेजिस्टेंस सो वैल्यू इज टू बाई थ्री एंड करंट डायरेक्शन इज डाउनवर्ड्स With respect to two amperes and current flowing through the one ohm resistor, with respect to two amperes is again total current is two. One ohm resistor opposite branch is two amperes, two ohms. So total current two into opposite branch resistance two by opposite branch resistance plus that resistance. So value is four by three and current direction is. opposite that is from right to left now third step is we have to add the responses caused by individual sources that is the response caused by 10 volts and the response caused by 2 amperes the current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor with respect to 10 volts is nothing but 10 by 3 current direction is from left to right the current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor with respect to 2 amperes is 4 by 3 current direction is from right to left so both directions are in opposite direction so we have to subtract the values so v1 equal v1 dash plus v1 double dash equal 10 by 3 Minus four by three, so total value is two amperes. Next, current flowing through the eight ohm resistor is two ohms with respect to two amperes, and current direction from right to left. The current flowing through the eight ohm resistor with respect to ten volts is zero, and current direction is from left to right. So both directions with respect to sources are. opposite here right to left here left to right so we need to subtract sub, subtract this response so current flowing through the eight ohms is 0 minus 2 by 2 so value is minus 2 and current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor with respect to 2 amperes source is 2 by 3 and current direction downwards the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistor With respect to ten volts is ten by three again downwards. Both directions are same, so we na we are we can add this response. So total value is four amperes. These are current flowing through the each resistors by using superposition theorem.